My name is Hayden Dunbar, and I'm a Bonner leader from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm graduating this May with an English major, psychology minor, and creative writing certificate. It feels hard to tell my story without Swanee's favorite buzzword, community. Having others around me to support me and grow with me is essential to my identity. I love the fellowship and friendship this environment creates, but I knew this long before I even got to Swanee. My family taught me the value of a group who loves and supports you. They pushed me to introspect, to learn, to have compassion for others in the world around me. They taught me the importance of being myself by celebrating the things that made me feel different. They cheered on my curiosity and encouraged me to pursue interests like writing and travel. These values of acceptance, individuality, and community have remained essential to me. I soon found myself a part of more communities that have shaped me immensely. The Episcopal Church, and more specifically Camp McDowell, has been an integral part of my upbringing. Spending time here as both camper and counselor and intentional community has taught me how to live more authentically and helped me to grow both spiritually and personally. My worldview has been shaped by these people in so many ways. My appreciation for the natural world, my desire to work on a team, and eventually my goal of attending Swanee all connect back to this camp and its people. I also think my time in high school is worth mentioning. I grew up attending a closed-minded high school that made me feel isolated for having values of inclusion and acceptance. I felt so uncertain and unsure of myself. But halfway through my sophomore year of high school, I applied to and got a scholarship for a new school, Indian Springs. Here, I felt reconnected to my truest self, surrounded by thoughtful peers and teachers who cared about the same things I did, from social justice to exploring the outdoors. I got to study things I was actually interested in for the first time, and I felt like it could finally be my authentic self. I don't think I ever would have ended up at Swanee, or much less in the Bonner program, if it weren't for these two communities. So when I got here, I was ecstatic. But I can't say it was exactly how I thought it would be. I was so nervous, and navigating this entirely new environment was hard. I don't cope with change very well, and I felt like I just didn't have time to invest in making change, or finding a bigger purpose or group to align myself with. My first few months, I was so worried about making friends, being a successful student, and having fun being a freshman that Bonner didn't seem like a priority, even though the thing I needed most was a community. I remember at the end of that semester, I had a one-on-one -on -one with Robin, the Bonner program director, where I admitted I wasn't that crazy about any of my sites. I loved the people I was working with, and I didn't mind the work, but something just hadn't clicked. And like the all-knowing human she is, Robin showed me Gabby Valentine's digital story, the CAC site leader who graduated the year before. Gabby talked a lot about the community she had found there, and I remember Robin saying that seemed up my alley. And she wasn't wrong. After three semesters as site leader and seven semesters total at the CAC, I can fully vouch for how special this community is. From sipping coffee to cooking chili and banana pudding, I feel so bonded with this group. The former and current CAC directors, Miss Betty and David, have been such important people in my Swanee journey, but so have our clients and volunteers. This year has been especially hard not being able to spend time with some of my favorite people on the mountain, CAC volunteers and clients like Miss Connie, Joe, and Miss Hazel, but I am grateful to have found my place among them and to have thrived there. Looking back, I'm so proud of my work, from packing groceries on early mornings to navigating a change in leadership in the midst of a pandemic. I've participated in countless community meals, strategically developed our online presence, and watched what was once ours and Miss Betty's dream to share McClurg's unused portions of food with our clients become a reality through kitchen to table. I've even witnessed speaking in tongues, which is definitely something I won't forget. As I grew into my role at the CAC, I hit my stride in the broader Bonner community as well. The more time we spent together, the more special this group became to me. From class workshops to the Community Cultivation Committee to Posse Plus and Sophomore Exchange, I got to know a Swanee community I don't know what I would do without. The consistency of our meetings became something to look forward to rather than feel indifferent towards. I know I'm getting a little sappy, but the gist is I love this community. And this isn't the only one I found at Swanee. I've been able to really be my best self here because of the groups I belong to. I love being a sacristan at All Saints, which I've done since my freshman year. 
Serving as thoroughfare on All Saints Day was truly one of the highlights of last semester after three years of watching my role models slinging the incense before me. My time as a WIC resident and co-director has made me a more intersectional feminist and given me a platform to address important campus issues alongside my cohort. This year I have met with the VC on multiple occasions, helped implement our Closing the Resource Gap campaign to provide all students free pregnancy tests and emergency contraception, and supported our team in planning over 20 events. A good community allows you to shine as an individual too. I have always had a tendency to be consumed by the groups I'm a part of, and there's nothing wrong with that, hence the blundstones and the pins on my gown. But through my time at Swanee, I have become a confident leader, connected to and thriving in a variety of groups, and I feel like I can be myself in all of them. I am so grateful to have had these experiences, and it is clear that my story would not be complete without these groups. The people that are a part of them have helped me become the person I am meant to be and guided me along my path while celebrating my individuality and authenticity too. As you may remember, I don't like change, and I wish I knew exactly what was coming next. But even in the midst of uncertainty, I know I'll always have this community, and I know there will always be another in my future. Thank you to all of the people that make it up.